Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting. Yes. Desire is feeling good to you these days. Yeah. A desire that you are not contradicting with belief feels really good, doesn't it? But a desire that you don't believe, a desire that you doubt, not so much fun, is it? So the key is for you to figure out some way to believe in your own desire. And what trips you up is that sometimes if the desire has not manifested, if it's not a desire that you are accustomed to seeing, turn into actualization manifestation then you get used to seeing it like it is seeing the absence of your desire or the presence of something that you do not want and most do not realize that as they focus upon what is they continue to practice the vibration of what is which makes it difficult for what is to change when you want something different than what is, but you hold what is steadily in your consciousness, then you continue to practice the vibration of what is. So what is continues to present itself to you in different ways, but the same vibrational essence, different faces, different places, but essentially the same thing continues to happen. So the key to being a deliberate creator is to find some way to distract yourself from what is while you focus upon what you prefer it's like telling a new story or even telling no story just do not continue to tell the same story if what the story is about is not pleasing to you seems logical doesn't it so you live in a universe that is vibrationally based you are too you are pure vibration you are vibration above all other things but you are vibration that has manifested into some physicality and you've become so accustomed to the physicality that has occurred that you forget that you are vibration. So most of you human blessed beings, you don't deal with your life vibrationally. Instead, you deal with it in terms of action, actualization, manifestation. And that's what slows you down so much. If you could realize that you are visualizing things into being, that you are imagining things into being, if you could get your imagination into a larger part of your life experience and your observation into a lesser part of your experience, your experience would begin to flip more into things that you do want. We're not trying to get you to stop living what you're living because most of it is really nice isn't it but you can be a better selective sifter than you are being you can focus yourself more deliberately and that really is what deliberate creation is all about it's about deliberate focus but in order to be effective at deliberately focusing you have to understand what it is you're reaching for and the thing that is interesting is that when we ask you to focus, we're not asking for your visual focus. We're asking for your vibrational focus, which means we're asking you to find a way to emotionally focus, focus yourselves emotionally, meaning care about how you feel. And if what you are thinking about or focused upon, whether it's past, present or future, whatever it is that has your attention, if you would remember that that focus carries with it a feeling and if you would care about the feeling more than anything else and you would focus your feeling focus your feeling into what feels better for a while we've been calling this gathering the art because it is you practice yourself into this artful deliberate creation the art of allowing allowing what the art of allowing me and my physical body right here right now to be in vibrational sync with source energy perspective of same things in the same moment. That's what true alignment is. You see, you're 
not here on your own out here on the ragged edge leading edge we mean the leading edge out here on the leading edge you're not here alone you are here with all of this non-physical energy flowing with you flowing with you to you and through you aware of everything that you are focused upon in this moment not just knowing who you were when you were born not just knowing what your reason for being here is knowing who you are and why you are here and what you are about in this moment what you're about in terms of your vibrational alignment or not your vibrational allowing or not so focusing really if you will think about focusing being in terms of focusing your feeling focusing yourself into feeling good finding a way to feel good and sometimes that means don't think about that that's a little tricky I'm not gonna think about that thing that I'm thinking about I'm not gonna think about that thing anymore I'm not gonna think about that thing that I keep thinking about I don't want to think about that thing I'm not gonna think about that thing anymore because thinking about I don't want to think about that thing I'm not gonna think about this thing I can't stop thinking about this thing because when you give your attention to it law of attraction causes a relationship to begin between you and it that's what law of attraction is all about in other words when you get focused upon something you begin to reverberate the same vibration that it is and once you begin to do that momentum ensues and once momentum gets going it's time to take a nap really it's time to meditate it's time for some major distractional effort which usually means sleep or meditate sometimes you have the power to focus Esther we thought she was rather remarkable just now she was having so much fun with you she really did not want to leave <laughs> and yet because of the thousands of times that she has stood in that place and listened and felt for us it was easy for her to just adjust her vibration to the frequency that is us but it takes some practice to be able to distract yourself from whatever's going on in that way doesn't it it takes some practice and that's what this gathering is all about so you were source energy before you came into this physical body and most of you still is source energy and you in this physical body have a relationship we want you to know that we want you to feel it we want you to sense it we want you to tend to the relationship between you in this physical body and the source who is really you the source who is you present with you aware of you and thinking about what you're thinking about so when source thinks about what you're thinking about and you feel negative emotion about it that means you're thinking about it in an opposing way to the way source is thinking about it source is looking for the advantage source is seeing the well-being source is knowing the value of the contrast that you are living but when you are pushing against the contrast then you are not in vibrational sync with who you really are so the creative process is really three simple steps that have morphed to four and now to five we'll talk about all of them but it basically says that life will cause you to ask for more continually and when you are in that phase where you are aware that something that you want is missing so you are asking for the improvement in your life by wanting this amendment to your desires that's what we are calling step one and when you are in step one that's usually when you're seeing a problem It's usually when you're seeing contrast It's usually when you're asking a strong question to which you do not know the answer that's step one step one is an important step but step one will trip you up because it's easy for you to take your humanness your actualness your actionness and give your all to step one you're looking around I don't like that I don't like that and these are the reasons that I don't like this I don't like it I want it to be like that but I don't like this that's what step one is like step two is sources answering what you want now if you're in step one strongly in step one asking 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 for the improvement asking 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 focused on the problem focused on the question then you're remaining in step one even though step two has already taken place and what you have asked for has already come to be in a vibrational reality that we've been referring to as your vortex it's a vibrational reality wrote a whole book about it a vibrational reality 
where everything that you're asking for is already resolved and gathered and completed and done vibrationally but then you say you're wise you're smart Alec too you're wise you say all right Abraham we'll play your silly game I've asked the question and I accept that it has been answered but how do I get my money out of the vortex and into the bank how do I get my lover to come home with me now in other words it's very fine this vibrational reality that you have conjured cooked up or maybe even imagined Abraham but I want the reality I'm not asking for the vibrational version I'm asking for the real life see it smell it hear it taste it touch it lick its face version <laughs> I want the reality of it I want it to manifest for me and we say that's step three that's where you are so aware that step two has taken place and you are proud of yourself for living step one and asking with such clarity that now you are in a place of relaxed expectation you're in the receptive mode you're in the mode where you are not tense and not worried you're not struggling you're not justifying and defending you're not saying I need it you're not yearning for it you've asked and you accept that it's given and while you cannot see it yet you know that it is coming step three is an attitude of faith it's an attitude of expectation it's an attitude of I know I'll know it when I see it it's an attitude of I know it's coming it's really a pleasant place to be and it really is the place that you will reside most often because life will never cause you to stop asking and because you're going to continue to ask you're going to continue to be in that place where you've asked for more than has manifest so it is very good for you to get comfortable being in that mode of having asked for something that has not fully manifested because that's the way life will eternally be for you we love you so much deal with it <laughs> when you get to that place where you just know that it's coming and you don't have to know all of the details you'll let the universe yield it to you a little bit at a time you'll allow yourself to be in the receptive mode where you're receiving 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 so like let's talk what do you want to talk about who are you people <laughs> what brings you here you come to give you come to receive you come to clarify you come to feel clarification you come to uplift you come to participate but mostly if we were standing in your physical shoes if we were sitting on your physical chairs if we were in your physical bodies and we were in a gathering like this we would have come for the vibrational tuning that is inevitable we would come for the immersion in the frequency of your source to practice and feel and recognize and know what it feels like to be tuned in tapped in turned on and ready for life to reveal itself the revelations are coming constantly because your vortex is rich with everything that you want the question is am I in the receptive mode Am I in the receptive mode? Am I hearing? Am I getting the clues? Am I flexible? Am I resilient? Am I in the right place at the right time? Or am I stubbornly, doggedly holding to beliefs and old patterns of thoughts that no longer serve me? Am I happy mostly? Am I ornery mostly? Am I joyful? Do I praise mostly? Do I criticize mostly? It's going to be some shaking out going on here.